Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how you can list up all the pages from a SharePoint Online site collection in Power Automate. As you may know, this library behaves like a document library or uh, just a list. So naturally we would think that we could just access it via the actions uh, get items or uh, get files in Power Automate. Let's see if we can do that. Let's go to Power Automate. I have already created a simple flow um, with a trigger. And let's add a new step. We go here again to SharePoint. And let's go to Get Items. Here it is, Get Items. Then we use the site address and the list name. And here we have the first problem. It's not in the list here. So naturally we would try the other action, new step, and let's say files, get files, properties only. Again, site, and then library name, and here's also no site pages. Let's try another thing. And we go here to new step. We can list the root folders of this site address, and then we'll just test it. It takes a few seconds. Good, here we are. So what do we get here? We get now all the root folders. And if we look down here, we see, uh, yeah, it's site pages. Let's just copy this, go to edit, make a new step. Um, let's go again to get items. And then here we just enter a custom value and the site pages. So we go now to test. Uh, we do manually again. But we get an error. It cannot find this. Maybe it works with the get item, uh, get files. New step. Enter custom value, site pages, test, and we get the same error again. How do we get there? It's actually quite easy. You have to connect uh, via PowerShell to your site collection. I've done this here already. And then get here, get PMP list and enter. That will give you all the lists uh, and all the document libraries from that site collection. And here we have the site pages. And more importantly, we have the actual ID here. And that's what we're gonna need. So I'll just copy this one. And then I put it in here. Go to test manually again. Run flow, done. And it works. And we get all the data, all the pages. Here we have the overview page and so on. And that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any further questions, just leave a comment. Um, and thank you for watching and I wish you a great day.